Hello, today's devotional can be found in Deuteronomy chapter 16, verse 17. Every man shall give as he is able according to the blessing of the Lord thy God which he hath given thee. Alright, everyone's got their part to play in Heavenly Father's plan, and no part is any greater or smaller than anything else. And not everybody is able to give like a hundred percent. But that that doesn't mean Heavenly Father loves him any less. I mean some were given mental and physical challenges in this life that it would that would help them to turn to Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ more than other people would because they were blessed with more. And it's not a bad thing to have mental or physical difficulties. It makes you realize that you can't handle life on your own. And it, it helps, it invites you to realize that the atonement of Jesus Christ helps you to see beyond what you can't do and helps you to focus on what you can do for others, for God, and for yourself. People with disabilities are, are just so precious and valuable because they and children are closer to God than anyone else and elderly people are the same way. And every person is able to give what they are able to give and what they want to give. Their desire might be there. The desire might be there to give a whole bunch, but if they're not able, they shouldn't condemn themselves. They shouldn't condemn themselves or sorrow over what they can't give. Because the Lord knows the desire of their hearts, and He sees them trying very hard. And He loves, the Lord loves us all. And the Lord gives us what we need in order to do what He wishes us to do. And we should be grateful and magnify what we have been called to do. We should magnify our stewardships. Christ died so that we could look beyond our imperfections. And it doesn't honor that at all if we focus on what we can't do and allow it to make us sorrowful. Everyone and their best effort is valuable to the Lord. And the Lord gives us what we need that we can do what He wills us to do. We get strength, confidence, courage from the Atonement. And we get opportunities to receive knowledge that will make us wiser. And I'm personally grateful for the atonement because of those reasons. And that I can feel the love of the Savior. It's your choice whether or not you want to be grateful, but you should at least know. Become aware of what Christ did for you on that cross. Everyone gives as they are able, and everyone is valuable to God. And with that said, I love you all so very much, and I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.